So we've got our basic AI that can patrol, chase, and attack, and we're going to add our scanning decision and use that to build our second AI variation. So scanning will allow us to make an AI which doesn't cheat by checking the player's active state and instead tries to keep the player in line of sight and then rotates to look for them when they lose line of sight. So they'll chase until they lose line of sight of the player, scan and rotate for a number of seconds, and if they haven't found them by the end, return to patrolling. So this is also going to use our countdown function that we just wrote uh, to time the length of the scan. So we are going to create a new C sharp script called scan decision. And again, it's going to extend decision. It's going to use the create asset menu attribute. I'm typing this so many times. Ah. Oh. Pluggable AI decisions scan and delete start and update. And it is going to override space right here. It's going to override decide. In decide, we're going to create a bool called no enemy in sight. And that is going to be equal to the results of our function that we're going to write, which is going to be a private function that returns a bool called scan. Scan. No, called scan. So the first thing that we're going to do in scan is we are going to stop our nav mesh agent. Controller dot nav mesh agent dot stop. And it's worth noting since 5.6 is coming out soon, this is actually going to change in the API. So just be aware if you're watching this and using 5.6, it's going to be, I think is a, it's like a Boolean now that's like is moving. I think there's a warning that'll pop up in the console. Then we'll rotate our tank based on its turning speed around the Y axis. So this is going to be controller dot transform dot rotate zero along the x controller dot enemy stats dot searching turn speed times time dot delta time on the y and zero on the z or z then we're going to call check of countdown elapsed passing in search duration from enemy stats and return its value to decide so we're going to say controller dot Check if countdown elapsed. We're going to pass in uh, controller dot enemy stats dot search duration and return. We're going to return that. And now we're going to call it equals scan controller. Oh, we need to return no enemy in sight as well. Save. And we can return to Unity and make our scan object. So this is also going to be a decision. We're going to create pluggable AI decisions scan. This is going to be called scan decision. Okay, so now we're actually going to duplicate our some of our states and edit them. So let's start with patrol aggressive and chase scanner and we can duplicate them and name them sorry chase chaser this will be chase scanner and patrol scanner so in patrol scanner the succeed state is going to be to go to chase scanner in chase scanner, we're not going to use the active state decision anymore. We're going to replace that with a look decision. So instead of just chasing until the target is dead, we're going to look each frame to see if we can still see the target. If we do see the target, we're going to remain in the state. If we don't see the target, we're not going to go back to patrol. 
we're going to go to a new state, which is going to be our alert scan state. So let's make a new state. Create pluggable AI state. And this is going to be called alert scan. So now we're creating a, and this will be, oh, let's call it alert scanner. Scanner. So now, and we'll make the color for it yellow. And let's just finish. Uh, Chase is going to go to alert. If it no longer sees the target, it's going to go to alert. Now, in alert, we're going to have no actions. We're going to have two transitions. The first is going to be scanning. So we're going to scan. And when we're scanning, we're turning in a circle for a number of seconds, right? This is going to return true once we have finished our number of seconds. So if we've turned and we haven't been interrupted, then this is going to return true. And therefore, we're going to return to our patrol scanner state. So we looked around. We didn't see anybody. Coast is clear. We're going to go back to patrolling, right? If we haven't completed scanning, we're going to remain in the state, right? We're going to keep scanning until we're done scanning, right? So that is our first transition condition. Our second is that we are going to look each frame. So we're going to have a look decision. And if the look decision is true, meaning we saw something, then we're going to go into the chase scanner state. If it's false, we didn't see anything, then we're going to remain in the state, right? We're going to keep looking until the scan decision ends. Okay, so now we need to make a new copy of our tank prefab. It's going to duplicate this tank, and this is going to be AI tank scanner. And all we need to do is change the starting state, right? So instead of starting in the chaser state, we're going to start in the patrol chaser state. We're going to start in the patrol scanner state. And let me just verify that these are all set up. We look. We chase and look, and then we scan. I think that's right, and let's give it a test. So in order to test, we need to add this to the game manager. We're going to go to the game manager. We're going to add a add our tank prefab, and we're also going to add to our array of tank managers here. We've got blue, red, and this one is going to be green. And we just need to drag in the, the spawn point. It's going to be spawn point three. And fingers crossed, that should be OK. Let's give it a test. Let me save, play. Let's take a look at our scanner. Yes. Look, look at him scan. He's scanning. You see me? I'm in trouble. He's a little scan happy. I think his look radius might be a little too small. Now he's scanning, he doesn't see anyone. And okay, back to patrolling. So it works. So there are obviously still a few uh, refinements we can make to this, right? It's not a totally perfect system, but the, the overall architecture I think is pretty solid and should be pretty useful in whichever games you're working on. And if you wanted to add, for example, a listen decision, right? You could do like a physics overlap sphere or use a trigger to see if something is nearby. That would be pretty easy to add to the system, right? You would just need to make a new decision and then you could make another AI type using all your actions and decisions that you've already created uh, in a nice and flexible way. So hopefully that was interesting for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to hang out and take some questions from the chat and yeah, thanks again.